The death of an Arizona firearms instructor by a nine-year-old girl who was firing a fully automatic Uzi displayed a tragic side of what has become a hot industry in the US, gun tourism. With gun laws keeping high-powered weapons out of reach for most people, especially those outside the US, indoor shooting ranges with high-powered weapons have become a popular attraction. Tourists from Japan flock to ranges in Waikiki, Hawaii, and a dozen or so that have cropped up in Las Vegas, offer bullet-riddled bachelor parties and literal shotgun weddings, where newly married couples can fire submachine gun rounds and pose, oozies and ammo belts. People just want to experience things they can't experience elsewhere, said Genghis Cohen, owner of Machine Guns Vegas. There's not an action movie in the past 30 years without a machine gun. The accidental shooting death of the firing range instructor in Arizona set off a powerful debate over youngsters and guns. Instructor Charles Vacca, 39, was standing next to the girl Monday at the last stop range in White Hills, Arizona, about 60 miles south of Las Vegas, when she squeezed the trigger. In 2008, an eight-year-old boy died after accidentally shooting himself in the head with an Uzi at a gun expo near Springfield, Massachusetts. Christopher Bizilge was firing at pumpkins when the gun kicked back. A former Massachusetts police chief whose company co-sponsored the gun show was later acquitted of involuntary manslaughter. Dave Workman senior editor at thegunmag.com and a spokesman for the Citizens Committee for the Right to Keep and Bear Arms, said, It can be safe to let children shoot an automatic weapon if a properly trained adult is helping them hold it. After viewing the video of the Arizona shooting, Workman said Vaca appeared to have tried to help the girl maintain control by placing his left hand under the weapon, but automatic weapons tend to recoil upward, he noted. If it was the first time she'd ever handled a full auto firearm, it's a big surprise when that gun continues to go off," said Workman, a firearms instructor for 30 years. I've even seen adults stunned by it. Scarmado said his policy of allowing children 8 and older to fire guns under adult supervision and the watchful eye of an instructor is standard practice in the industry. The range's policies are under review, he said.